This next story is all new at 11. A Russian missile in Ukraine has destroyed a world central kitchen train carrying food. No one was injured, but it is just heartbreaking when you think of all the hard work from Jose Andres and his team. Tonight, our Colby Satterfield spoke with one volunteer about the attack and what's been happening overseas. Tonight, another attack against the World Central Kitchen's humanitarian efforts in Ukraine. The second attack in four months against D.C.-based celebrity chef Jose Andres' frontline Ukrainian kitchens. This time, a Russian missile destroyed a train full of food destined for frontline families in eastern Ukraine, destroying a train car full of food and potentially to others. It was a, a major, major hit. I mean, the entire one of the railway wagons was just completely destroyed. Nate Mook is the CEO of World Central Kitchen. He has spent much of the last three months in Ukraine, arriving back to the United States yesterday, one day before the latest attack. This is uh, probably well over $50,000 worth of food. The attack coming hours before President Joe Biden's announcement of $1 billion in assistance for Ukraine and a call from the White House urging Americans not to travel to the war ravaged country after emerging reports that two Americans were captured by Russian forces. We discourage Americans from going to Ukraine and, and fighting in Ukraine. It is a war zone. It's a concern World Central Kitchen isn't taking for granted as humanitarian efforts and railways become new targets for Russian forces. And so it's not entirely surprising they are targeting the railway wagons. Now, um, they're also targeting humanitarian supplies like food. And so, again, you know, we're going to be very careful. World Central Kitchens in Ukraine do have Ukrainian staff operating them, allowing them to be more efficient and not need to send a lot of international staff. And Leslie, it seems that things just keep getting more dire there. It is hard to see, but we think of the work they've done there and how they have worked to really uh, stand in the gap during this humanitarian crisis. Thank you.